Hello! Uh, we are having an early look at Mixo Lumia. Uh, it's a game from Dave Makes and it got a little bit of attention with it kind of being made via Twitter in some roundabout way. Um, anyway, I showed this on the back end of uh, Mental Health Fridays. Um, and I've had a couple more goes since, and I'm really enjoying what, I, what I'm playing. It's available on itch.io, or itch.io, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, and feel free to, to grab it from there. I think it's still got a discount. You can get it for $9. Um, feel free to tip. Pay the 10 It's It's worth every single penny. So, what is Mixolumia? Well, let's dive in and have a look, shall we? Uh, feel free to ask any questions if you're watching live. I will do my best to answer them. And let's make sure, first of all, that we are here. There we go. So, you might have heard of some of these modes before if you've played other games. Marathon. Endless. Rush. Intense. And relaxed. Um, we'll start with marathon uh, because generally, whatever is the first option on a puzzle game, that is the ideal way it's been built. So let's jump in. Let's have a look, shall we? Ah, uh, what we're we gonna start with? Let's start. Well, I suppose let's start with tessellation. So. If you've played Tetris, if you've played Lumides, then you'll get how this looks. Left and right movement, and then you drop him. And the idea is, twist, is to start clearing blocks. And what you will end up doing, eventually, oh dear, see we screwed that up. You've got to be clever still. And try and get. Oh, dear, we've got a blue one coming next. So, ready? Let's do that. And then do that. There we go. Um, there we go. So the idea is, obviously, with this, is to start clearing the blocks, which is easier said than done at the angle. Um, and it makes a really interesting concept for the game. Let's get that one cleared. But you've got to think more. There we go, a nice double there. More than you probably would with... Oh, that's blue. oh no. Oh look at that. That's a nice combo. Four times combo. Um Yeah, you've got to think about things just that little bit more than you would with Tetris, Lumines, uh, Columns, any games like that. Hiya Crick, thank you for joining. There we go. And yeah, it's just that I don't want to say it's the thinking man's game. I hate you like all, all games need you to uh, to use a bit of brain matter. Um, but I suppose this tries to do a little bit more. And it, it takes a while, I think, just to get your head around how the angles work on this. And how you can get those extra combos going. Uh, let's see, look, we now know. But see, look, so we can't slot that in there. So it's not always super simple to where everything goes and you need to uh, see look not learning got to learn where the different bits go what's the best way of lining them up and what's going to give you what you need do we now know let's do that that one there we go that should drop in there good 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 
and then we know that's going to drop in there. So it kind of gives you a preview where where it's going to go. Uh, but I found it's not always reliable. Let's see. Um, now, admittedly, that's down to my own ineptitude. You can't take too long to think about what you are doing. Because this game will swallow you up and spit you out. Um, but it's, it's relaxing. Um, as a Tetris fan... Oh, bloody hell. So, how did I blow that? Oh, dear. There we go. Right, now we're going. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Oh, dear. God. Uh, well, that's clearly not going to work. What are you doing, Brad? Nope. There we go. You got to start being quick, okay? There we go. How many combos can we get going, eh? Oh, look at that. Five times combo. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's... Oh, no. It's quite easy to panic. Uh, but for me, that is the sign of a good old game. That you, you know what you're meant to be doing. But, ah, uh, you can still have absolute moments of panic and dread. Is that going to drop that? There we go. Uh, I need to, oh dear. We could be in trouble here. We could be in trouble. Ah, no! Yes! Do. No! Game over. Um, but yeah, this is a good game. It's a very good game. We'll go again. Uh, so we need to straight down the middle so they don't split that we've got to get used to right see now we can that'll drop in there ah oh, see no didn't get that drop right but that's fine do that there we go and we start learning there we go that's going to drop in there. Right. That. Ah. Uh, you think you've got it and then you still blow it. That's fine though. Right. That can drop in there. Good, good, good. That. Ah. Uh, think, Bradley. Think. So one thing I always find with games like this, for me, is I've always got that Tetris head on. And that doesn't help me. Because I've always got that Tetris head on, 
I'm thinking Tetris whenever I play. And obviously this is going to react differently to Tetris. Now, every part of me wants to blame the game. But I know it's my fault. I know it's completely my fault. But what I would say this has got like Tetris. Um, and like... A lot like Lumines as well. Lumines is... You find a moment where something clicks and it changes everything about the game for you. So, with Tetris, it's the first time you learn how to do like a T spin. Uh, oh, that didn't slot as I wanted it to. Okay. Oh, that was good. Nice three times. Yeah, it's the first time you learn how to do a T-spin and then an S-spin. It just, it, it just changes everything about the way you play that game. Um, there we go. And in doing it, it's... Uh, it, Yeah, and it's changing everything that you know about how to play the game. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know you could get grouped to four, so that'll change it. It's um, It just changes the game's feeling overall, what, what it means, what, what, you're meant to, what you're trying to get out of said game. See, this looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. Uh, oops. Oh, see, you just got to... And again, trying to play this a bit like Tetris is a mistake. Because what I'm trying to do here... just isn't going to work because I'm trying to set set myself up for combos or quick moves which I can't do here it's not it's not working here let I me mean, look at all these yellows I've got uh, but I've got myself into a position where I'm not here we go here comes a couple of combos There's no point with trying to do certain things because it's just not going to work. Um, and the slow, the slow pace of this, I think, works really well. I mean, we're up to level 5, so it's obviously getting a little bit uh, faster. And mistakes should and will get punished. There we go. I just can't see a way out of this level for us now. There we go. But we're probably... Oh, we beat a high score, though. That's the thing. We might have beat a high score. Just somehow surviving. No, game over. Uh, I don't know if we beat a high score there, but... Oh, it was. New high score. Well done. Um, if we look... Go to settings. There's a few different templates you can have as well. So there's a light version, grim rogue like you get a preview of what the colours are, antique, eggplant, caprice, cauldron, uh, trans light, trans rights, uh, non-binary, Game Boy. Uh, so you've got all different versions. Load, look at all, so many. 
Uh, we are going to do... Of course we're going to do Game Boy. Of course we're going to do Game Boy. Because that's what we need to do. So. Let's have a look at... See what we can do. Rush. Oops. Have a quick look at this. Yeah, sure. We'll try that. Sorry about that. Kids are the absolute worst. Uh, right. So, let's back in. Um, so, what we've got here. This is a lovely colour palette, I will admit. But, not very practical. So we'll try and see what we can do here. Nope. Wow, I mean, this is... a tough palette. We know we can get squares. We'll do stuff. So we know that. So we take the Lumines route. There we go. Nice. Bonus. Oh no, that screwed up. Right. There we go. Nice music. It's getting a nice beat to it. I can't dance. I don't even know why I did that. Yes. What did we get? 32,000. Is that any good? Who knows? Is there? There's no live leaderboard yet. It, yeah, two minutes tough with that theme is, yeah. Let's try a different theme. Let's try trans rights. Oops. And let's go. Well, shall we? Shall we? This could be over very quickly. Let's try it. And go. And we'll try, let's try that music. Let's try that music. Okay. Level 15 is max level. We're going to lose very quickly here. Oh, my Jesus. What the? No. What? No. I don't think I'm even going to get a... What the? No. No, 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 look. Get, get. Oh, there. Hey. We cleared one. Right. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. There, right, that will clear one, that will clear one. Yes. No, what? Stop it. No, what? Whoa, you've got to move really quickly. Jesus. No, don't, oh, don't do that. Right, there we go. But you've got to remember, like, with this one, so this is, ah. Uh, where was in Tetris here? Uh, sorry to keep comparing it to Tetris. Is Oh, uh, no. You get those couple of, like, fractions of a second after you've done 
one bit, and then that allows you oh, to. There we go. Oh, yeah, it allows you to spin in place. <laughs> this isn't doing it, and I can't. My muscle memory just won't let me. It's going, no, you've got to be able to spin. Christ. No, let's see, look, now I'm trying to go. I'm over. Oh, I'm overcompensating now. This is. Bigger score, though. Jesus. That Dave makes is some kind of bloody masochist. All right, he is. Um, so, yeah, that's that mode. It'll be really good. I think once you get used to the mechanics, you'll be fine. So, let's have a quick look at... Oops. Let's have a quick look at Endless. Uh, with, I'll tell you, we'll use another theme. Let's use non-binary. Oops. And we're going to do Endless. And we'll try Summer Shower. Yellow, yellow, yellows. Let's pop that there. That can pop there. Oh, no, we've got that wrong. Right, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Ah, see, this should now... Hey, combo! Fine. Oh, look at that. Four. There we go. We know that will give us a four. So we know the fours are working. We know how to do that now. That's good. Uh, look, that's fine. Look, we can drop that there. I'm right. Ah, no, didn't do it. But what we should get soon. Oops. No, it's still. That could go there. There we go. Look. I like it. See, it's nice and a bit more better paced for the for the more discerning gentleman. Do there. Let's look. We can now stick that there. That will then go there. As I said, like I said before, actually, once you start learning some of the extra techniques, the game will start to come together a bit more. Again, just like Tetris, Lumines, Columns, all of them, Puzzle Fighter, you start to learn what will do what in the game. And you can start picking up little combos. And I remember being told with Puyo Puyo, it's start getting the small combos first. Because once you get those, then you can start to worry about trying to get bigger combos. But there's no point trying to get those big combos while you're still struggling to get the little combos. So get those little combos in place. And then once you know how to do those, the rest of it starts to fall in place. And it's a, it's a weird concept to get your head around because you, you just want to do better. Um, but to do better, you need to make sure you are improving at the game at all times. Um, and I always have when I play... Whoops. So as soon as these hit at any point, you can't... 
continue rotating. So you can't recover. I don't know if I like that or not, but it's it is the mechanic. Um So if you look at oh, what's a, a good example of a game that does this sort of thing really well. Um If you look at Planet Puzzle League uh, and games like that, um, they're really good. You know, they've, they've got very similar mechanics, but you need to learn the specifics of each of them. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, you've got to learn the specific mechanics of those games. Um, and he's got to get your head around. It's not Tetris. It's not. It's not this other puzzle game you knew before that. Because if you try and play it like that, you are going to lose. You're going to get absolutely battered. So it's like for this, I've got to learn. I've got to commit to where I'm dropping before I drop. Oops, say that again, because I'm trying to think. I'm, uh, you, can, you can overthink this quite quite a lot, actually. Um, drop that there. Oh, so you, again, you've got to be... You, you've got to be quick. And again, I'm trying to overcompensate. I'm trying to think, oh, I can drop this in at some point. Um... But, yeah, when I do switch from, say, Tetris to Panel de Pom, then to Puyo Puyo, um, it takes me a while to get the right muscle memory to work out what I'm meant to be doing with each one. Even though I know each game inside out, ah, there's still elements of learning that do have to be done. And it's constantly... Oh, so you, okay, just got to be quick. I'm not quick enough here. There we go. Right. There we go. Couple more. So I'm starting to see now what I'm meant to be doing. What's the best way around this? What I'm still not quite seeing is I'm looking at some of the patterns I get. I'm thinking, right, I should be able to do uh, <laughs> this one's going to be over now. There we go. So, yeah, I'm still trying to do things that I would do with other games. Uh, but, hi, Treble. Thanks for joining. Uh, yeah, still trying to do things that I would do with other games. Uh, and that, that does need to, to change. But what I like about this, and it's something that a lot some puzzle games don't do properly. And this is where they struggle. They try and cram too much in there. But what this is doing... Dave Makes Games has developed his concept here. And that is, you've got your, your four squares, um, and there are three different colours, and you need to make a line of at least three, or a block of four. And that will allow you to clear. That concept is there throughout the game. Doesn't matter how you play it. You've got Marathon, where you've got to get your score, um, in a certain amount of, of clears. Um, so you're looking for combos, things like that. You've then got your rush mode, where you've got to do it all super fast and you've got a two-minute space to work in. Relaxation mode, you know, intense, endless, all, all different types of modes. But the core concept is the same. And that is what makes a good puzzle game. It's why Tetris has stood the test of time. It's why Tetris can fit in different ways. So you've got original Game Boy Tetris, and some swear by that. Uh, you've got more competitive Tetris, 
which is brilliant. You know, actual battles, one-on-one -on -one battles. You can mix Tetris with Puyo. You've got Tetris 99. You've got a Tetris Battle Royale. Tetris Effect is just something completely different. But at the core of that is you've got Tetrominoes. You drop each single one of those into a well. You get them to make a line, you clear that line. That does not change. That does not change in any single one of those. Uh, another game I like that you don't see much of, you what you don't really see at all, actually. It needs a re-release or a, an homage. I'll take a spiritual successor. But you've also got droplets, which, again, took a core concept. You've got droplets of water. They come in from the top. You turn the dials to get the pipes, to make them from the bottom. The pipes clear, new pipes come in, repeat. The levels get more complex, and they're wider and, and things like that. But the core concept is the same. Doesn't throw too much into it. This has the ability, in my opinion, with the right development behind it, a few little tweaks maybe, um, to be up there with some of the best puzzle games of all time. It's taking two very recognisable games in Tetris and Lumines, or Lumines, Lumines, however you want to pronounce it, Lumines, um, moulding them together and still somehow becoming unique. Um, it's one of the reasons I think stuff like your Candy Crushes and the things that ape on Candy Crushes, they are fads. Because they take a concept and it starts off with that concept and then they shoehorn in just too much. Too many different variants of what that is. And they don't work. Bejeweled really worked because it was just the core concept on the whole. Everything that was available was there pretty much through every single way you played Bejeweled. And that worked. And again, this is this is this is right up there. I like it. Um, I love. Let's go back. You know, where are we going? Let's bring it in. So if we can bring it. No. Oh no, we've got to do Z and X. There we go. Let's go back to the menu. That's it. You could do this. This is fine. Absolute tons of pallets. Um, I love this. I love that someone's willing to do this. Oops. Absolutely outstanding. I mean, still, we got back round to the front yet? There we go. Default, and then me to Lumia. You know, it's, it's absolutely loads, and that's fine. That gives it. Um, I'm, I dare say there'll be more music chucked in with this. Because um, that's one thing I found relaxing. The music in this is really, really good. Uh, Treble, what, what platform? This is on PC only at the moment. And as far as I'm aware, only via itch.io. Um, and to give another shout out um, to Dave Makes Games, you can get this for as little as $9 on itch.io. Chuck in the full team. Let's get this out there. Um, because then I can pull big. And ask for a Switch version as well. Because I, it's perfect for Switch, isn't it? Um, but yeah, only keyboard controls at the moment. Uh, there's no hold pieces. So literally up, down, left, right. Um, Z and X rotate. And there's no hard drop. And it works. Um, absolutely works wonderfully. Uh, so, what we'll do, we've got a dry throat. We're going to have one more little blast at this. Um, someone who's watching, give me a theme to use. And I'll use it. What shall we use? I'm going through them all now. So, pick one, tell me what it is, and that's what we'll use for... A final little two-minute game. I like that one, but I 
Come on. Oh, I'll pick one at random. I won't pick one at random. I'll pick the one I like. If I get round to it again, that's what we're going. Right, we're going with this. That's what it is. So I think this is going to be a good platform. Oh, we do. I think controller support will be out. I don't think it'll be too far away either. Um, this might even be out of date. I, don't, I haven't updated it since I first downloaded it. So this could be well out of date, this build. But I'll, I'll, if it is, I'll do another little look another time. So, two minute rush. Can we beat that 32,231? Let's have a look. Pure concentration here. Yeah? No! Oh my word. No, I even saw that happening. Right, we're going to try this one again because somehow... Oh, there we go. Look at that. That's a not very good combo, but... One more, one more, one more, one more. It's got that feel to it, by the way. Oops. Yeah, it's definitely got one more feel. One more go feel this game. Um, I absolutely enjoy this. There we go. In we go. Oh, what if you get bonuses for clearing the board? Oh, that's a Lou Means thing. Um, but I wonder if you do.
Oh, did we did we beat our score? Thirty six one nine two. Oh, yes, we did. Um, but yeah, this is a absolutely fantastic game. Absolutely fantastic. It's still not even out of development yet, and it yeah, it's gonna be on to one of my rotational games. I think I've got a lot of learning to do with it. It is brand new. I don't know the techniques. Um, keep trying to, as I said, I keep trying to do things that I've done in Tetris in, and in Luminis. Um, even trying to do some of the stuff I would do in uh, Panel de Pom. Uh, but yeah, this is this is interesting. Uh, Dave make games, can continue to make games. Um, so listen, if you've liked this, um, please follow on Twitch, subscribe be great uh, like and subscribe if you're watching it on youtube uh, follow us on twitter facebook come to our discord channel wherever uh, but yeah that's been uh oh dear what we've got here uh sorry that's been mixolumia <laughs>